thanks for being here today. Um, the College of Physical and Medical Sciences periodically makes an award named after former Dean uh, Garrett Briggs called the Garrett Briggs Faculty Career Achievement Award. And the criterion for the award, let me read from uh, the criterion, is to be awarded to a faculty member in recognition of accomplishments that have, over a period of many years, contributed significantly to the effective operation and intellectual life of a department or of the college. <clears throat> accomplishments and achievements that can be recognized include meritorious service within the campus community, contributions to teaching that are not necessarily reflected in nominations to the Academy of Outstanding Teachers, excellence in advising, and excellence in coordinating undergraduate programs, graduate programs, and instruction. And I'm delighted uh, today to announce that Professor of Physics Emeritus Richard Moat has been selected for that award. Uh, beginning with his appointment as Assistant Professor of Physics in 1976, uh, Rich spent his uh, first 20 years at, at NC State running a successful research program using ion storage rings and was a member of the NC STAR effort to build a, a synchrotron, synchrotron source at, at NC State. But even back then, he was a significant contributor in other ways to the life of the college and to the department through activities such as service to the PAMS Advisory Committee, to the Faculty Senate, to the University Strategic Planning Committee, and as, uh, at times, college coordinator for the uh, Employees Combined Campaign. And then in the late 90s, uh, Rich uh, sort of honed in on and sharpened his focus uh, onto the use of technology uh, in our education programs. And Rich was one of the first faculty members in physics to integrate web content into his teaching. But then he went on to pioneer the development of online courses uh, in physics uh, for the department. Uh, in 2002, uh, Rich began developing online versions of the key introductory courses that are so important across the university, Physics 205 and, and 208, and the uh, online laboratory uh, activities that he developed for those code courses are to this day relatively unique. Uh, Rich taught his first distance ed course in 2004 and continued teaching them into his retirement. Uh, Rich's service to the department uh, and the college uh, go beyond that and also include for the department he co-authored lab manuals for a whole host of physics courses, 205, 208, 11, and 12. Uh, he chaired the undergraduate uh, physics department undergraduate curriculum review uh, in 2002. Uh, he was supervising the honors and major sections of the laboratories from 1990 to uh, 2011 and coordinated the physics 205, 208 courses with something like 1,600 students per semester from 2007 to 2010. Uh, the nomination letter for Rich concludes with the following words. <clears throat> his career contributions to research and teaching and his selfless service to the department to the college and to the university make him an outstanding ca uh, candidate for the Faculty Career Achievement Award. And I'm delighted to present that award to Rich today. Please join me and the past and pres present physics department heads in thanking and congratulating. Situation 
Um, I'm really honored because there are so many great people, even just in the physics department, who uh, are deserving of this award. And I hope they get it sooner rather than later. And I hope that uh, everybody competes. You don't have to be here for 35, 36 years to do all that stuff I did. So you don't have to you know, wait till, I'm, till you're just about ready to get down here before you, uh, you know, before you qualify for the award. And I want to thank the physics department for giving me all those opportunities. Uh, there are some departments, I'm not going to say name here, but some institutions where, you know, if you can't get that NSF grant renewed, they find a way to somehow slip you out and slip in somebody else. But when that time came for me, there, were, well, there was a lot of work to do. Uh, a lot of university that nobody wants to do, but it's important and has to be done. And I was grateful that university found me those spots so I could stay here and feel like I was making a contribution, um, even though you know, I wasn't up there with the, in the most prestigious areas of bringing home research awards and uh, teaching awards and such as that. So thank you very much for coming. I'm, I'm really honored and, and touched. Uh, and I uh, hope you can enjoy a little more freshness for the you now. Thank you.